I'm Tom. And I'm Molly. Welcome to Friends at Gameology, hosted by MoonlightCrew.com. Reviews for science. In seven minutes or less. Guildhall Job Fair. Guildhall Job Fair, like its predecessor, Guildhall, uh, is a set collection game. Um, colors and professions. Peddlers, bricklayers. Hunter, uh, hunters, scholars. So those are uh, different than the original base set. This is a this is a base set and an expansion. Um, it does play by itself, but the base set had different cards in it. And to tell you the truth, just right off the bat, I like that. This is a more of the same mm -hmm. kind of game. Uh, it doesn't introduce a die roll. It doesn't introduce area control. It's a set collection game just like the first with different powers. And when I already like that, I love when expansions come out with exactly, not, not exactly the same, but like the same uh mechanisms the same mm -hmm. gameplay with just different things doesn't it's, change too much it's not such a any... radical change yeah. that i'm like i have to like relearn the game i yeah. love that so anyway uh and it already helps that i like guild hall so uh in this game you can take you know a couple of actions you can draw cards you can play a card and then that, that will eventually get added to your um your chapter and then your guild hall and as you play cards you'll get more of them out here and they will start to become more powerful and their effects will be more powerful you can't play cards that would duplicate themselves. If I already have a, a yellow or a green scholar, I can't play another yellow or green scholar. I'm trying to get up to uh, five different colors of one of, these, uh, one of these chapters so I can turn it in to buy victory points. First to 20 is the winner. Simplicity versus complexity. Um, I think this game, I, I, maybe it's right in the middle for me. Um, I don't know if I'd call it a medium, medium weight game. No, maybe it's a little less than that. But, uh, but there are a lot of different um, things, professions, and uh, these aren't always the, the icons. I don't know if you can see them. They're not always the best. Uh, Most intuitive. Yeah. Like, they don't, you look at it and you go, what does that mean? I mean, they try. So, so uh, a black anything means your opponent's uh, guild, hand, whatever you're going to do, and then the white means yours. But uh, it's, it's still, and then there's a grave. I, yeah, so there's a, a lot of different icons, and I'm like, I don't know. I mean, they have it all right here, but uh, there's only one of those. Yeah, we refer to this a lot. Yeah. But I'm glad they have it. But I think it's pretty simple because you can only do two actions. So I do one, can't do the same one twice in a turn. So I have to do a different one, so I'm going to draw a card. Or I'm draw up to six. And that, for me, it was just one card. Do the action, put it here, and it goes to the next player's turn. So I think it's still pretty simple, even though uh, the icon thing. Once you understand the icons, you're fine. Yeah, I think like after, after a couple rounds in the game, this becomes more simple. Uh, which I think it's that, that those icons aren't that intuitive, and uh, and you will look at the rulebook every now and then, but eventually you'll understand what the cards do, and it is simple enough to grasp and take off and be competitive in your first game. Yeah. Luck versus strategy. I think there is a good amount of. I mean, dare I say both? I don't know. So there's a lot of luck because you're drawing cards. There's also a lot of luck because this is a take that game. Like I like a lot of the. A lot of taking from your opponent's guild, or hand. taking from their hand, yeah. um, and uh, and so switching cards, yeah, trading, and, yeah. and from my hand to your guild, and things like that. So there's a lot of take that. So I could have a strategy, and then it's just ruined. So I've got to do something else. So I guess it's not very tactical. I can't have a long-term strategy in this game because it's not going to work out most likely. Because the only way to win, I mean, if I want to get five um, peddlers, I have to mess with your hand five times, and so. It's, it's a take that game, um, but at the same time, I do think that um, what you do then with your cards, do I, do I attack back, or do you like, okay, well, I'm, now I'm going to do this strategy and get out of the discard pile all of what was just discarded. So I think there's a good amount of strategy, too, um, but it is, it is a good amount of luck. Uh, there's a lot of strategy here, but the luck is there. I mean, sometimes, because you can't duplicate your colors in the same profession, and sometimes you draw that third mm -hmm. green scholar, and you're just like, you've got to be joking with yeah. me. Uh, and then sometimes, like, I'll get the nine, and it's just almost half the points I need, and out comes, like, a two. And then all Molly has are, you know, fours and threes and twos, and, and it's harder for her to catch up that way. Uh, but that's the luck of the draw. It's still a fun game with a lot of strategy, because these decisions that you make, the cards you play, are so important. They're so crucial. Yeah. Will you play cards just straight? Some of these cards will let you put them right into your chapters without using their powers from, like, the discard pile or from the top of the deck. And... If you choose to go that route, you won't get their powers, but they'll be more powerful when you use their powers later. But then by then, maybe somebody will have messed with you. So you, those decisions you make are just, they're crucial. And, and they have meaning, and I think the strategy is 
is deceptively deep for kind of a light game. I would say too that the, the the lighter or the lower points also do things on the bottom, and so and you're powers. not. Yeah, and so I I taught that in the last game we did play, he was able to get this and he shot it right ahead, but I was able to come back because they give me extra action and things like that. So they do try to mitigate that. Fun versus boring. I think this game is pretty fun. I enjoy myself when I play it. It's it's I like set collection games for the most part, and. Uh, What's fun about this is that there is just that, that, that layer of take that on there, which doesn't always work, but here it does. And I don't know, I mean, I, mean, I guess it's a, uh, I'm not a game designer, so I'm not sure what it is that <laughs> makes it work, but it works, and I yeah. like it. It's fun. Uh, and at any player count, I mean, I, I don't know if we've played with three players. We've played with two and four, and I've just enjoyed it each time. Yeah, I think this game is, is pretty fun. It's, it's a solid game. Uh, again, I like set collection games. I like different colored where I'm trying to get multiple of different colors and whatnot. And so, um, and there's all the actions are, it's very interactive. I'm always doing something, which the take that comes into play, but it's very interactive. So yeah, BGG rating. On Board Game Geek, I would rate this an eight. I won't turn down a game. I w I'm generally willing to play. I'll probably give it a seven. Yeah. Every time we hit multiples of 500 subscribers, we give away a free glitter painting of your favorite superhero icon. So make sure to subscribe now. Because it could be you that wins. Guildhall Job Fair. We've presented the evidence. You be the judge.